Hello and welcome back, everybody. Here we are again for episode 18 of Some Low Grade Gamers, your weekly gaming podcast. As usual, nice voice. yeah, thank you. It's my uh, commentator announcer okay. voice. Yes. Right. As usual, we are joined by the lovely Laura. Hi. How are you doing this week, Laura? Yeah, I'm good. How are you doing this yeah, week? Yeah, I'm fantastic. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. And, of course, the low-grade gamer himself. Dan, how are you doing? I'm well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm well, thank you. <laughs> that your, your commentator voice, Laura, is clearly the worst one. <laughs> Why? It's just lacklustre compared to ours. <laughs> I am just going to have to disagree. Ah, oh, okay. We can be more robust. Agree real. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> more robust. And today yeah. we are speaking about stuff. <laughs> Man, oh, I thought good. you were actually going to go with that. No, nah, I was going to go with it. And then I thought and you were I'm not taking your job from oh, me. Okay, it's my job. All right, all right. Well, we've got a, uh, got a stacked full podcast this week. Got a couple of things to talk about. Uh Blizzard is in trouble again. Ah, surprise, continuing, surprise. Mm-hmm, continuing on the back of our last week's conversation about uh, abuse in the workplace, specifically in the video game workplace. Uh, yeah, Blizzard is back at it. Uh, don't you love them? Mm, mm-hmm. No, no, you don't. I thought that this was all over once they had been like absolved by Microsoft, but I guess that that just hasn't happened yet. Yeah, the- I guess these things take time. I agree. I think they take time. Yeah, but now there's a new lawsuit from this poor girl whose name is just Jane Doe at the moment for privacy reasons. Okay. Of course. Imagine if your name was actually Jane Doe. Side note, wouldn't that be so unfortunate? Nobody would believe your ID. Is that just like Adam Smith? Like, is there something I'm no, missing? What's no, Jane, Jane Doe, Doe is Doe like Jane Doe. It's yeah, yeah those are going. names that mean that they are fake names to oh. protect privacy of like victims or people in lawsuits, things like that. Missing or, persons. Who yeah, might. or if they don't know who the person is. So if you rock up, yeah, if you die, and you don't have your wallet or anything on you, and they take you to the hospital, you're John Doe. Mm. Oh, I did not know that. I wonder how many people in the world are actually named Jane Doe. Um. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot, apparently. <laughs> well, that is a side note. Yeah. But so Jane Doe, she. Okay, are we, are we doing this right now? What? Well, I was going to say we've also got the GTA Online subscription oh, okay, that we're going to talk about. This Twitcher got banned from okay. Twitch. Okay, uh, let her go. And- let her talk. Dude- you go, Laura, go. This work for it or? As you were. And also then uh, somebody from Amazon has resigned. That's all I wanted to say. Now we can now we can uh, go, even though we skipped one. But that's all right. It's just, go on, not nah, nah, one go, of Jane Doe. Tell us into it's it. better yeah. to start with the bad news and yeah. then go on to the good news later on. Okay. All right. Yeah. So Jane Doe. Mm, yeah. Yep. So <laughs> she has made it aware, yeah. made everybody aware that she was like forced to drink and play lewd games and they had these things that they called cube crawls okay. where after hours like these groups of dudes would go around the cubicles and fill people up. Cube crawl, like a pub crawl, but cubes. Ooh. I just thought it was like pretty messed up. Yeah, that's... um. That. Yeah, I don't know what to say. That cube crawl, unbelievable. That, is that that seriously that is, a thing? Well, that yeah, that's this is what she's the lawsuit is about. Like that's one of the things that she said that she had to exist with, and then she asked if she could um, move to another department, and they offered her like a huge pay cut to work in like this other department the job was just like nothing compared to the job that she had at that department so she felt trapped like she was unable to move anywhere but I was just like shocked because I thought that like that was finished with that they maybe would have been like okay everybody knows that we're assholes and we might have learned how to listen but no and I thought that when Microsoft bought them out they got rid of all the troublemakers so the 
acquisition is still like Pending. being processed. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, um, can't so, happen fast enough. Yeah, I agree. Um, you're clearly far more in the know about this than either of us are, Laura. Um, I kind of I have no words. I don't know what to say th- th- apart from that. That's absolutely disgusting and inexcusable. Um, do you, wanna, do you, you know? Sorry, go on. I know how many sexual harassment and other types of complaints that Activision Blizzard have against it. Yeah, go many? on. Let's give us the I'll number. Yes, uh, two hundred. I was going to say fifty. Not even close. What? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Is that incidents under Bobby? Kotick, Cox, Kotichi, whatever his name is. Kotichi. Coxhead. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. That's his freaking name. Unbelievable. They need a, um, do they have an HR department? HR departments are the worst, though. Well, it depends on who is HR. I, I Usually HR. Personally, he needs to go to prison. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yep, one hundred percent. Yep, I definitely have no issue with that. So my question to you, Laura, was reported like just, the fuck? Yeah, obviously yeah. nothing was done about any of them. No, nope. yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, if you're if you're turning a blind eye to this, then it's just like it's like being an accessory to murder, isn't it? Yeah, like that's still a large jail sentence. Now, I don't know what it is. Say it's 30% of whatever the murderer gets or 50%. Yep, then guilty this bloke, by association. Yeah, then this bloke should be getting 50% of what happens to all 700 of these individual cases, just which I'm him, sure just is- give him six months for every incident. Don't. Yeah. Mm. Well, wow, that's life, isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah, life in prison, dude. Life and beyond. Yeah. Life and life, beyond. Yeah, hell yeah, 350 years. Yeah, no, nah, I'm down. Yep, yeah, that- as far as I'm concerned, people like that don't have a place in society. Let's, let's get uh, not a phone. place of leadership at the very least. Yes, exactly. Oh, yes. So, so this, my question to oh you, Lord, was did this incident, was this like last week that this, this happened? This was like uh, the 25th of March, so like, yeah, a couple of days ago. When this came to light or when this stuff was happening? When it came to light. Okay, so yeah, we don't when, know if all this happened. To, like, yeah. A while ago, or when, yeah, so we, we don't really know a time frame. Like, this could have been well before the Microsoft acquisition. Happened. I would say it is. Yeah. I, I would, uh, yeah. from the way this is reading, um, because I, I read it a little earlier, and I would definitely say that this predates the acquisition date. Um, mm-hmm. but in any case, as Laura alluded to, what she was pressured, I don't, it's, you might hear me sound like I'm laughing and it's actually because I am literally so shocked. I'd like, how the, how is this? Are you a nervous laugher? I'm just one of those people where if it literally makes no sense whatsoever, I get to that point where I'm like, this shit's not real. Like, Seven. Yeah, some people are nervous laughers. Do you do you, you have, hear about people who like go to a funeral and like laugh in the eulogy, but they're just like, oh, that's really. Intense. No, I've never laughed. Really at a nervous funeral. Um, no, that's, no, me neither. But just you're a funeral laugher, though. aren't you, Laura? No, oh, I yes. am a funeral baller of my eyes out. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, no, yeah. Laura's a cry, massive cry, a wedding crier, huge wedding crier as well. Any strong emotion. I I'm think cry. I think sometimes if you don't laugh, then you're just going to break down, rip all your hair out and just not know what to do in this messed up world that we live in. So you've kind of just got to be like, <laughs> oh, and uh, just kind of roll with it, I guess. Uh, that's, I laugh when something's so messed up that, it's either that or cry, you know. So I, I, I feel where you're coming from. I'll be on then. the podcast. 
Oh god. Oh, just rip shreds into Bobby. I I think that would be that would be a couple of uh, words that would not be appropriate Some for anyone words. to hear. No. Yeah, uh, I just thought it was interesting the that it um, just offered more insight into the way that things were run. Oh, yeah. Because it most probably was before the acquisition, but I never, like, it offered more detail into mm. the, mm. the goings going, on. The inner workings of that workspace. Cute well, rules. I'm yeah, sorry. They did make like, a big deal of it. Uh, well, not a big deal, but in, in the article, they did mention the, how many incidents happened under good old Bobby. So, mm. yeah, I, yeah, that's why I'm predicting at least, or I hope, um, I hope that this was during that period. Has Bobby, Bobby's been fired or oh, stepped Bobby's down? Gone. He stepped down. Yeah. That's what's disgusting. He should have been kicked. The chat like, oh, my God, what the hell were the board thinking? Oh. He's just like he didn't even get fired. He's just like, okay, sweet, I'm out. He just like dipped when he got on hot water. Yep, border. Uh, the board at Activision is kind of the worst. Yeah, I don't like them. No, can't wait for them. Just, just a clean slate. You know what? You know what's been really fun and really colourful this week. Man, yes, you, I you, do. You're like, into some really weird shit if you think that this is fun and colourful. No, I'm trying to move on from the you got problems man. from the the negatives. Laura, you might need to move on from it. Yeah, we, go, if you need a talk, man, I'm here. The, oh, thank I'm here. I appreciate it. I appreciate that, man. But uh no, no. We started with the negatives and now it's time for the positive. Yeah, oh, I've got to get on, on. Oh, Yeah, I, I mean into Bobby unless we have all we have to say, I feel we could just say this is messed up for the next like hour and that would be fine. But uh, I mean, I don't have anything else to add. Do you? F you, Bobby. Yeah. Get wrecked, Bobby. Yeah. Piss off, Bobby. That's going to be the title of this podcast. But if you do Get want wrecked. to attend the podcast, I promise I will rein myself in at least 15%. Bobby. Ooh, I can't promise that. I'm going to go 13%. I'll rein myself in. He's not coming. You guys are generous. He? He's not coming, is he? No. Well, There's no way that he would come to our podcast. He's listening to this podcast. I'm sure he is, yeah. We won't virtually beat you up, Bobby, even though you deserve it. No yeah. promises. No, we won't. Piece of crap. Do you know what's fun and colourful this week? Laura, tell me. Kirby! Woo! Yes! Kirby. Kirby is being released. Kirby in the Forgotten Lands. It is fun. It is colourful, despite it's set in like a post apocalyptic kind of realm. If the post apocalyptic world looks anything like this Kirby game, then <laughs> I won't be that just. No, I'm pretty down for it, actually. Uh, I read this article that. Yeah, I read this article that was like post-apocalyptic and it's like, you know, I could be talking about Horizon or I could be talking about like some like, I don't know, some COD game set up during nuclear war or something like that. Bunch of like these examples and they're like, no, we're talking about the cute little fuzzy pink guy from Nintendo, you know, Kirby. Is he fuzzy? No, yeah, I, I don't know. Fuzzy. I think they, I think they added. It's like a. They added the word fuzzy to make it seem cuter. Yeah, I think that's um, what they did, yeah. I think he's fuzzy on the inside. Is it a he? Yeah, you know? fuzzy on the inside. Or it's a they? Yeah. Are we using the oh, right well, it's a they. I would yes. say they. I don't see anything between the... Um, I don't... Or, it's a pretty smooth surface. So. Or neutral. I would, yeah. Just definitely neither of the two genders, that's for sure. Just so well, well, look, I could be wrong. I don't want to assume anyone's gender, including Kirby's, but I'm I'm going to roll with they. Just, just looking a bit option. smooth down there, so that's why I say they. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, he does. Uh, he said he again. Uh, oh, he yeah, looks a bit phallic. He looks a bit phallic at times in this game. <laughs> the old Kirby. Does. The mouthful mode is definitely an interesting mode. Yeah. So. Laura and I have been looking forward to this game for a long time. Uh, it is 
up there with our most anticipated releases of this year for the Switch. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, look, if uh, Breath of the Wild 2 doesn't come this year, then I would say for me it is top two. Yeah. Top two. This and Pokemon pro- were probably my most anticipated. I really enjoy it. And still are. And, I mean, look, it's, it's Kirby. Kirby's not exactly known for being... Um, it's no Elden Ring in difficult. terms of difficulty. No, which actually I want to get back to a bit later. Uh, I've got a point there to make. But, yeah, it is it is easy. But that's okay. It's a 3D platformer. I freaking love 3D platformers. It's like one of my favorite genres of games of all time. So, yeah, I was picking this up day one and we did. And it's got a co-op mode, which is tons of fun. Laura prefers playing as the Waddle D. Yeah. I like Kirby, so it I works out. I prefer his weapon. Works out perfectly. I like the spear. I just like that the Kirby series has come, a, come a ways, you know? It's the Mario Odyssey of Kirby games. Laura. Tom disagrees, but I, it just is. I highly disagree. It's not exactly the same as Mario Odyssey doi, but it's far more similar to that than... Side scrolling Kirby. Yeah, it's a 3D Kirby. Doesn't mean it's exactly. anything like Odyssey. There's there's levels. Odyssey there is- 3D. Kirby, Forgotten Lands. Yeah. 3D. So is it more like Breath yeah, of the Wild but- or Odyssey? More like Odyssey than Breath yeah, of the but, Wild. Yeah, yeah. Is it but, more like I mean, Elden Ring or Odyssey? Odyssey. Is it is more it like more Grand like- Theft Auto or Odyssey? Odyssey. Well, thank God, it's Odyssey. <laughs> I'm just shaking my head here. I'm just shaking my head. Is it more like Red Dead Redemption or The Witcher? Those are both oh. open worlds. Yeah, see, bad example. <laughs> oh, oh. It's nothing like Odyssey. It is a 3D platformer. That's where it the similarities end like there is that they're linear levels you go through a level uh there is a bunch of stuff to look for and like secrets to unlock i guess uh which actually makes the replayability really nice that that stuff can get a little bit difficult which is cool i like that uh the initial level is not super hard but it's just it's not like i mean odyssey had these like open like not worlds, but like open levels. Like it's definitely an open level design and you just run around and, you know, you go to this corner of the map and be like, oh, you know, here's the thing. And then back over there. It's not like just that. Just like Kirby. It's not like that. Well, there's collectibles. Look, mate, can we just agree to disagree? Come on, shake my hand. Yeah, all right, we're disagreeing. Hmm, not happy about it. <laughs> One of us is sleeping on the couch tonight. It's not going to be me. <laughs> it's going to be me by choice. So I have a I have a question. Earlier you Please. said the game is one of the most anticipated, as well as Breath of the Wild two and Pokemon. Which mm-hmm. Pokemon are we referring to? The the so, one that uh, Pokemon is, Arceus. You're referring to Arceus, not the ones that are not yep. released yet. The ones that no no. It's- Although they're high up on my list too. That was our personal anticipation. Yeah, I'm talking it like on December 31st of 2021, what we knew about was coming, you know. In in the video that we made. Yes. Yeah, the most anticipated release of 2022. There was. Put that in the description, guys. Let's show it off. Mm -hmm. Your fancy fancy footwork. (laughs) <laughs> I just did some too bad you couldn't see. So my my uh, point I wanted to bring up earlier, people are getting upset online when somebody said, someone says, Elden Ring is too hard. And that is not a fair criticism to have of a game. But do you know what is a fair criticism for some reason? That a game's too easy. Can anyone explain this to me? Because no, I don't understand. It's, they're both personal. Like, it's that's not an objective opinion. That's a subjective opinion. So I don't think it's a valid, like, 
thing to, you know, base it on. Well, I mean, like Elden Ring is hard and Kirby is easy. Like I Elden think- Elden Ring's not that hard for some people. Yeah, but I think- like the Kirby's general population, probably hard for some people. I think the general population can agree that they are, you know, hard and easy. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that why is one a fair enough? Like neither are. That's what I reckon. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That uh, neither are. Yeah, that's a, just for some reason online people are like Kirby's too easy, and everyone's like, yeah, that yeah, sucks. And then when someone says Elden Ring's too hard, everyone's like, oh, just get good, yeah. You suck. Um, you suck at video games. See, I think on this one, I'm probably on the side of it depends on your skill level. Yeah. Because if you're six years old, you're not playing Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. Like it's not the genre of people that it's aiming at. And if you are six years old and playing Elden Ring, you need to awesome. get new parents. Get rid of them. They're no good. <laughs> and if you're so, six years if you're six years old and playing Elden Ring, you probably don't need parents. You're probably more than capable of taking care of yourself. Well, it depends how far you're getting in the game. But <laughs> I think a game being too easy, it depends what it's being aimed at, though. Like Jesus. Mm. If it's aimed at Jesus, I think he'd want an easier game. Wondered where you were going with that. Yeah, I was really going anywhere else. Just trying to yeah. cut the straws. Yeah. I just, I just Jesus. don't think. I don't think. Like, if <laughs> one's a fair criticism, then they should both be a fair criticism. If one's not, then they should, should both be. be not. You know, I like, believe neither should be because Dan's right. It depends who you are. Yeah, it's not objective. So I think what it doesn't got, matter if a game is hard or easy, and you enjoy playing. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but I just had that thought. What if you've got a disability? Because I saw this as a criticism mm. to Elden Ring is there's a, a there was a person who can't play with their hands, so they have to they have to game with their feet. Yep. And Elden Ring is too hard uh, to play because of that. Well, okay. Like while I respect the fact that he's still playing games because that's that's bloody awesome. I can't play with my feet. Yeah, I, was, uh, uh, I could barely play with my hands. Uh, <laughs> the mechanics aren't aimed towards that, if that makes sense. Like, should yeah. they have some so better it's not access? not winning any awards for disability Yeah, yeah like, control. If, should it have some more accessibility, accessibility stuff? Then, yeah, yeah, probably um, it should. But was it yeah. aimed at that? It's, it's like saying, well, you know, why aren't there more butterflies in GTA? Ah, that's a good question. I like butterflies. Yeah. Why isn't that's there? Like, that's bullshit. Yeah. But you're not know more like butterflies. It's, it's one of those things. While I, like I said, while I respect it immensely, I think it depends what game you're playing and what the creators. This is the big thing. What did the crea- creators create it for? Did they create the game to be enjoyable? easy to do because I, I like easy games sometimes i just want to sit there if i just want to sit there and chill i don't i don't want to play you know like a really crap game like survival arc survival arc arc survival yeah stuffed it up not bad yeah that's how bad it is he doesn't even remember the no. remember the name of it that's poor game for new players anyway um <laughs> Rant over. Yeah, I just had to get that in there. Um, no, get her just, off your chest. Just needed to yeah. get out there. Yeah, it was, it was just depressing. And does that feel better now? Yeah, I feel a bit better. I'm good now. I'm good that the world now knows that new players are shunned. Basically, it's not mm-hmm. a nice, not a nice feeling. You should be more open, Ark Survival players, bastards. Anyway. It depends who the game is aimed at is the big key thing. Like, you can't say the game is too audience. easy or too hard. Like, geez, Mario Kart is too easy. Depending on what option you pick. 
and what you're doing. My four-year-old can win. Yeah, that's awesome. I struggle to win. Yeah, Laura can't win. I can. I just don't always. She can't. I think that, no, you okay. I'm definitely sleeping on the couch now. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> no, she can. I think is a game fun. Yeah, if it's that's the better so, question. Yeah, if mm. it's so ridiculously hard that it's not fun or it's so ridiculously easy that it's not fun, then for you. then I think that they are, like, fair enough gripes. But, I mean, nobody designs a game so it's not fun, do they? No. I mean, yeah. sure, maybe there's one out there that's designed to evoke s- something else. Troll game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I'm sh- I'm sure it exists, but oh, at yeah. the end of the day, like, is it fun? It doesn't like I I don't understand these gamers that gatekeep all these games that are like, oh, you know, if it's like if I can beat it in like you know four hours or like I just get through a level in thirty seconds, then no, nah, it, it's a shit game. Like, why? Why does it have to be? Is it is it fun? Full like full stop. If it is, then stop. Stop gatekeeping it. Just let people have fun. Sometimes I like games that only take four hours. Yeah, some of, absolutely. If, if it's a good four-hour experience compared to like a crappy drawn-out 70 hours, I'm on for the four-hour every time. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. I agree. But, yeah, I just just wanted to have that uh, hard versus easy kind of uh, debate, I guess. I just, yeah. You know. Well, I mean, it's like Elden Ring is hard, hmm. but it's fun. Yeah. Kirby is easy, but it's also fun. Yeah, yeah. So, so I don't think, yeah, I just don't think it's a valid point in terms of, like, criticism. Mm-hmm. I don't think a game should get, like, a 10% on Metacritic that Kirby should get a 10% on Metacritic because it's easy. Kirby actually has, like, an 87 on Metacritic, yeah, I'm Metacritic sure or something. It's, like, yeah. really high. Yep. yep. And that's just rubs it in the easy players faces doesn't it yeah i mean it deserves it it's freaking awesome i think yeah. it's really good uh it looks fantastic as well mm-hmm. as far as nintendo titles of this year, kirby and 8.8 there you go so good there scores. you go yeah good ones yeah absolutely no it's doing well it's um it's reviving this kirby franchise I, I, I guess reviving. It's it's breathing fresh air into it, isn't it? And it's most, definitely better than the past yeah, Kirby game. S- Star Allies wasn't really my jam. Uh, Kirby Dan, your daughter smoking. might like it. She's she's young. She would like it. But yeah, this game has a bit more. I liked bit it. More I still it. liked it. I enjoyed Star Allies. It was fun co-op, but yeah, it was just it, you, know, you can't die, can you? Are you saying that it's, it's too easy? Too easy? <laughs> oh my god! I'm saying it's not that fun. I ha- I still had fun. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. yeah, Kirby Forgotten Lands is definitely a lot more fun. Yes, yes, I agree. I agree. Uh, finally, the devs, uh, Hal Laboratory, have said that there is room in the future for both 2D and 3D Kirby games. It's nice. Yeah. So we might be getting those uh those dual. You know, one, one 3D, one 2.5D, which is pretty cool. I'm down for that. Mm. Very, very much down for that. I think that's an exciting prospect. Me too. So, all right, let's move. One of the negative okay. reviews of Kirby, if that's okay. Yeah, I've probably read it. Go on. This is the worst game in my life. When I bought this what? game, my hands felt odd and I didn't know that I was cursed. I went home with my friend, Suge Nifus. And when I opened my game, my friend died. Nintendo has made a poisonous cancer when playing this game, and it is stronger than cyanide and every poison combined. Please never play this game, and I will sue Nintendo for $5 million after they did to my friend, and the worst part is my father died as well. Nintendo, I wish you go to hell. I read that last bit louder because it's all in caps. That was a roller coaster of a review. Yeah. I, what the? That's genuine, if you ask right. me. This that's is just a user. 
This is thank a user you for sharing that. that with us. I actually this is a user review really on Metacritic. Ready. This is okay, I was gonna say if this is like a reviewer review, then my no. god. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is that's a legit user review. Everybody else I've scored it. it. Uh, they gave it a full zero. A full zero. What else would you rate so, poisonous cancer? That's the yeah, but yeah, I mean that if it is a poisonous cancer, it definitely deserves a zero. Well, I haven't died. No, yeah, no, nah, uh, I am alive and kicking. Uh, I did or feel sick we? last week, but that was before Kirby. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> she's, she's on her sound effects. She's oh. Like, oh. Well, I was just like, you said that we're alive. I was like, are we? Well, uh, yes. X Files. Who can prove it? We're all just living in a simulation, everybody. There's actually a lot of evidence to point towards that. Uh, that is a whole other discussion. We don't do a science podcast here, but uh, we could. It would be quite interesting, I'm sure. Anything else to add apart from the issues with Metacritic? Obviously, they should not allow crap like that. It's the Wikipedia of game reviews. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? My oh, God. That's legit. That's a pretty legit review. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds about <laughs> right, doesn't it? I trust it 100%. You know what? You know what? I better call my dad. Just make sure he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah, that's that's the worst part. I actually haven't talked to him since I played Kirby. So, oh, he could not be with us anymore. That's awkward. Imagine, okay. yeah, cursed. This got real dark, real the fast. The cursed game. Let's uh, move on from the poisonous cancer that is Kirby. <laughs> Oh, God. So you've just got to laugh. Otherwise, you're going to cry. Yeah. Yeah, That's one of those things. All right. So this one's interesting. Dan, I know how much you love GTA 5, how big a fan of Rockstar Studios you are, and how much you love, love this game, and you don't want a number six. You just want to keep playing GTA Online forever, don't you? Look, I love Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm going to put that out there for Rockstar. That was a great great game. game. I enjoyed that. Uh, I enjoyed GTA 5 when it came out because I was younger. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, we were all a hell of a lot younger when that came out. I enjoyed it when it came out 20 years ago. Uh, Yeah. It feels that, doesn't it? Yeah. now it's getting a subscription service. I oh. am getting sick to death of subscription <laughs> services. I literally today, right? Yeah. Not, yes. not not a time for this to happen. I I need to um, find a better schedule for servicing my car. So I was looking for an app. What? Okay. Yeah, because all right, I, here we go. Tangent. No, no, I, I service it every 5,000 kilometers, but yeah, and, and my bike. So, yeah. you know, like I, I wanted to get the schedule going, so I thought I'll jump on to the uh, app store and try and find a, an app, just simple app for recording. Literally, there is only one that I found that did not charge people a monthly or yearly subscription. I'm keeping a damn spreadsheet. Charge me five bucks for downloading the app. I'll give you five bucks. Give me a trial. If it's any good, I'll give you 14 bucks. But bugger off with the subscription stuff. It's you yeah, need to provide I agree. value. I what I... value are you getting from GTA online? Oh, okay. So GTA Plus. Oh, <laughs> Which is their Crap. subscription? No, nah, that's their subscription. You get, <laughs> so you get money and you deposit it into into your bank account yeah. every month. Yeah. Not real money, GTA money. Yeah, you get GTA money. Uh, when you buy shark cards, you get uh, extra bonuses. So uh, you might get like one and a half times whatever money you get from a shark card. Uh, and yeah, Laura mentioned the the monthly like deposit of, of cash money and you can buy some houses or something yeah, you can somewhere. Buy purchase properties. Yeah. Uh, 
I haven't ever played GTA online. Have you, Laura? No. So I can't really talk. I think I'm one of like the like the two people in the whole world that don't own GTA 5 on like everything, by the way. Second biggest release on the current generation consoles after Elden Ring, by the way. It is huge. What? Why? I- why though? I don't like. I've played the game. I've played it online. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Online was okay for a couple of hours, but then it's also rife with people modding it, causing glitches and other crap. Like there was one point where I was literally running somewhere, and then all of a sudden I transported somewhere else to this building. You couldn't go, you couldn't leave six metres from the building, right? You're stuck inside this thing, like a dome, (laughs) invisible dome, and you would just constantly get money. So it's just while you were in that circle and you couldn't get out. So I I walked away from it. I walked away from the computer. I thought, I'll just leave it here, see what happens. Two hours I left it, came back, still in there. Six million dollars later. I was going to say, how much money do you have? Nice. What a happy accident. So Yeah, but it'd be nice uh, if you could spend it by getting out. Well, yeah, that's it. Well, <laughs> the, I, the way to get out was to cancel the game, get back in, and, yes, I had my six million. Oh, oh nice. But I don't like that sort of thing. Yeah, you want to yeah. play actually earn yes. the money, don't you? Of course, yeah. of course. I, like, I only left it to see what would happen. I didn't leave it for any other reason. I wanted to see how long it would take. Too long, apparently. Stuck in the dome. I, I didn't really enjoy it. You know, like you can be a bikey or you can be a, I don't know, other gangster or this gangster or that. And you can be a pimp, can't you? Yeah, I just didn't find it very enjoyable overall. I, I just don't know how the game could, could possibly keep going. Like, yeah, uh, it, it, it is. It wasn't it like I'm pretty sure that I read that it was the um like highest streamed game on Twitch last year. Yeah, last year in 2021, mm. it was the highest streamed, like the most streamed game yeah. or the most viewed game. Yeah, even even above all those uh, hot tub streams and everything, <laughs> people prefer to watch GTA Five than hot tub streams. I, it's endless. It's just an infinite commodity. Yeah, I look. I don't get it, but obviously there's a an absolute crap ton of people out there that that do get it and want to keep playing it on every single console they own. So, I mean, look if. Ah, I guess, Dan, as an example that you and me can, can froth over together, what if, what if Jack and Daxter came out on every console? You know, like I would probably own four, co- four copies of Jack and Daxter, one for each console, if, if it came out and was remastered or re-released to blah, 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 you know? Uh, Laura. Well, it's not the same ongoing game. game that's come out since two, two, 2013. By the yeah. way, mm. yeah, yeah, it's nearly 10 yeah, no, years. It's yeah, yeah, no, that's eight years old. It's getting there. Sorry, nine years. My bad. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's wrong with my yeah, match? It was yours. I'm behind, <laughs> <laughs> still in so 2021. Yeah, yes, I would buy Jack and Daxter on all those mediums, but we don't get access to Jack and Daxter every day. No, no. True. Well, like, what if Ocarina of Time was released on every console? Like, I would own Ocarina of Time 10 times, as you would probably yeah. would too, Laura. You know, like, it's maybe I just not if it, not I don't if know. it was ongoing released for the last nine years. Not that's if you could still though. play it on the 64. That's a bit, that's the big difference. Though. If that game was still available nine years later. Yeah. You'd still be like, eh. Well, that I guess it's the difference is you can still play it on your PS3, can't you? 
you know, those, like you those, don't need. Well, you can still play Ocarina down. on your 3DS. Sorry, what did you say, Dan? Pretty sure the PS3 uh, ch- channels or servers have been shut down. Okay, so you did have to buy it on your PS4 then. Okay. That's the difference. Yeah, That's why people keep That's buying That's why people it. keep buying it then. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, because you- Ocarina, you can still play it on your 3DS. Yeah, or the 64. Mm. So you don't need to keep buying it again and again and again. Yeah, I guess with GTA you do because the servers get shut down. Yeah, I guess the bad example portion you can play both single player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (sighs) Whatever. I played GTA once, and I played Fashion Police, where I just like ran people over that I wasn't a fan of their outfits. If I wasn't a fan of their outfit, I would run them over. Usually it was the prostitutes, not because it ju- they just had the most weird outfits, like a zebra pattern tights and stuff that doesn't go together. Stuff that doesn't go together. So basically <laughs> you hate prostitutes. That's what you're. Yeah. Uh, well, it came out of my mouth and I was like, that's what it's going to sound like. But it was just purely the tights. Yeah. The zebra patterns. Not a fan of zebra colors. print, eh? No. Nah. Fair enough. No. Nah. Each to their own, I guess. Yeah, fashion police. And that's my experience with GTA. Yeah, I mean, I played San Andreas GTA 3 and then I was kind of like, oh, yeah. And I haven't played another oh, GTA yeah. game since. But I, res- I respect the fact that they're really good games. I just wish uh, Rockstar would, would do something else, you know? Like, stop just porting this to places and re-releasing and now having a subscription service. Just make a new one. Ah, oh, man, they're not going to though. Like if it's, if it's making cash money, then, you, you know. wait for it to slow down. Yeah, exactly. It's like Mario Kart. Yeah. Eight Deluxe. That game is like 10 years old mm-hmm. or will be. Um, and like it's still making money and still selling. So Nintendo's like, why the hell would we do anything else? They are releasing DLC, so I respect that. That's different. There is extra content. But it's, it's the same concept, isn't it? Mm. Don't fix it, it if is. it ain't broke, you know? Like ACDC okay. have released the same song for like 40 <laughs> years and they're making a crap ton of money off it. So why would they start releasing a different type of song? You can't compare ACDC to GTA. Yeah, you can. They're the, they're the same. Is this the same? They're just doing Getting the same in. thing over and over, mate. Just no can be in there as well. Actually. They have an example. Yep. You're a big ACDC fan. Yeah, he is. He's upset that I'm insulting. What do you prefer, GTA or ACDC? Oh, ACDC, no shit. I, <laughs> I, let's be honest, though. Red Dead Redemption's a better game. GTA. I. Really liked Red Dead Redemption. I like the setting better, though. That's all. I think that's what does that's it for true. me. That's true, yeah. Any game with a horse in it, I'm just totally down. Yeah, Laura likes horses. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah, riding horses, horses in yeah. games. She's not a horse person, though. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not with a horse person. No, cause... not like, I mean, I like real life horses, but they also kind of freak me out. But video game horses? Yeah, that's where it's it. at. That's, yeah. That's why I like Laura because she likes video game stuff, not necessarily real life stuff. Uh, mm. So me too. But yeah, Red Dead's a better game. Like that's what I don't get. Why is Red Dead? Why does Red Dead not have the same love? Is it, is it because GTA is so easy to mod? Is there a, a difference there? I don't know if it is. People do love modding. I, well, I honestly can't answer that. I think mm. the, I think Red Dead Online had a few issues so maybe maybe that has something to do with it but again i i don't know i don't know man i don't think any of them deserve a subscription service that costs like seven bucks a month no. like where you get a couple of in-game credits like come on if you don't if you don't have 100 million credits already then i mean you, you've had 10 years <laughs> Like, you don't need extra stuff. But, look, again, I haven't played it, so maybe maybe you do. I, yeah, I, I don't want to judge you if you're, if you're signing up to the subscription service. That's, that's, that's your 
kind of well, if my deal. favorite game released a subscription service, I would subscribe. And it's a lot of people's favorite games. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It's yeah. just not my favorite game. No, so, no, no. It's, it's not. But I wish it was a one-off purchase rather than a subscription service, because then, like, twenty years later, you've spent like thousands. I I think it's good that they're not like it's not pay to win or it's like none of like it doesn't actually affect your gameplay all that much. Yeah, and I feel good. like it's probably good place for like new new players to go because if you if you get this like monthly um deposit in your in your GTA bank account and you get like extra things when you purchase the shark cards and stuff then like that's like an incentive for new players to catch up to oh yeah current players uh so I can see I can see it from that standpoint uh but that's the only reason I can think of that you would need this. Like long time players, they just shouldn't they just shouldn't need this, you know? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. And I yeah. guess that's the target audience, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. New players. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Dan, I'm looking at you. You got anything else to add? No, I'm against it. I'm sick of yep. subscription shit. Like yeah. if, if there's no Dan is, significant he's a value. Man. No, look. If there is value in something, I got no, in, I got like no issue with providing. Uh, again, my hard-earned money. It's no, it's you know, money is not easy to come by. So no, no. You know, Netflix is an example. I think they've raised their price too high now. But let's let's go back a little bit. They provide additional original content consistently uh-huh. yep. and, and, and a lot of it's good as well yeah yeah and that's some crap significant amount of money so i, I mean oh, i yeah. dis, i dislike continuous price rises that irritates me because it yes, affects I agree. uh people's budgets like at the end of the day yeah. why would now netflix is sort of pre like it's it's over to every other streaming service at the moment. You get two yep. streaming services for the same price as Netflix. So yes. if a service like Disney Plus is huge for what they give you for the amount of money, that is good value for money because they got yes. Star Wars content. They got Star, which is like some of their R-rated stuff. They got mm-hmm. all Disney, of the 21st Pixar, century box. Marvel, yeah, all of the Fox stuff that that is value. GTA Plus mm-hmm. or whatever. Plus the original, the original yeah, content, plus all the original stuff. GTA yep. Plus for that amount of money, this that's that's not value. That's taking advantage. No. And rock stars, I'm watching you. Well, like their latest release, the trilogy. The uh, GTA Classic trilogy. That was crap. Yeah, um, yeah. That's a. I mean, we went over that in a uh, in a past podcast, but I just thought I'd remind everyone that uh, it sucked, and they were kind of dicks about it. Mm-hmm. And it sucked. But then they like made. Didn't they make the old the originals available once again? Yeah, they did. But I mean. Yeah, they, still, they, they admitted they were dicks, place. but they were still dicks. Yeah. 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 I mean, they you did know? the right thing in the end. So, you know, props to them. Yeah. But, yeah, the, the whole thing is just like. They're better than that, though, you know. Like, they're, they're a lot better than that. They have the resources to, like, be able to release, like, decent stuff. That's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah like, and not. They just need to bugger off. Seriously, it's bullshit. They need, they need to release a new game. It's what they need. Yeah. I should have released GTA 6 by now. Stop buying mm-hmm. GTA Online and GTA 5 stuff and shark cards. You know, I actually deleted all shark cards from my digital games. I, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to support it. So I, <laughs> I cracked it and I deleted them. You go on my digital games that. right now. You will not see shark card. I got rid of them. I have no interest. I really enjoy that. That's so funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, I think that's real good. Good on you. Good on you, Dan. I appreciate that. 
That's what that I'm doing. That is a rage quit. I'm fighting the degree. power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? It takes it takes the little guy to stand up and say something. Right. So good on you. No, yeah, nah, right. screw you, Rockstar. Give us the. It doesn't even have to be GTA Six. Just, I mean, Red Red Dead Three would be fine. Like, I would, I would I've be happy with that. On the way, I read something. Uh, about- uh, who knows? Who knows? There's uh, everything's on the way. That's the worst thing. It's like saying, "Oh, there's going to be a new." 3D Mario game. Like, of course, there's going to be a new 3D Mario game. Are you stupid? Like, of course, of course, that's happening. You know, that there's going to be in 25 years. Yeah, though. there's going, yeah, there's going to be a new uh, Forza Motorsport. Like, of course, like that, that, like they sell. Why would they just stop? Um, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's I know happening. There's no official release date yet. I thought yeah, there was but- uh, a solid date. There is no solid date, no, but it will be no, after no, the release just, of GTA Six. So oh, okay, never, yeah. okay. never, so it's never still, being it's released. Twenty years at this point, so never, yeah, <laughs> literally never. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. Um, got a couple of uh, smaller ones, kind of smaller topics to end on here. Uh, the first. Uh, let's get the smallest one out of the way first, shall we, guys? Uh, there's a certain man at a certain gaming company has resigned. So, uh, Michael, oh, God, Michael Frazzini, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. I'm no good with names. Close. I usually prefer to not say them. I call everyone. That's why you say a certain man. Yeah, a I certain use, company. I I use it like in real life. I call everyone like man or bro or love or yeah. you know like. Didn't you say I just, the other week that you hate the word bro? I'm paranoid. No, that's no. Right. He hates the word um buddy. buddy. I don't oh. like buddy or champ. Oh, champ is that's demoralizing. Yeah. Yeah, I one time that. I called him, I, it, I was at work or something. We usually try not to be gross at work. And I think I was, like, also just joking. I was like, here you go, champ. And you should have just seen the daggers that were thrown. Mm-hmm. And he was genuinely upset. And this is when I found out about his distaste for the word champ. I had no idea at first. And I was, like, genuinely confused. But now I understand. So that's a warning to anybody who is going to interact with us ever, don't call Tom Champ, Buddy, or Tiger. He also doesn't like Tiger. Yeah, they're all little kids' names. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> I'm paranoid about getting people's names wrong. Michael Frazzini has oh. resigned. From, that's enough, enough about me. <laughs> Michael Frazzini has resigned from Amazon Games. Now, he says that this is just for personal reasons. He's been there like 18 years or something ridiculous. Well, that's a long time yeah. to be in a single role. And he said he's just, well, you know, been in a there's never role. He's been time. with Amazon. Yeah, oh, right. yeah, yes, yeah. Okay. He's, he's bounced around. I don't know how long he's been he's headed. He's climbed the Amazon ladder for he 18 has. years. I don't know how long he's been the head of their games department, but he's been with Amazon itself for 18 years. I mean, their maybe games department just, hasn't existed for 18 years. Maybe he just needs a change. Well, Dan is suspicious. Dan doesn't necessarily think there's truth in this statement. No. You think it, look, to me, to me, is a foot? Oh, put your tinfoil hats on. Look, champ, I'm not a huge conspiracy theorist. Oh, oh. you going to cop it now, Tiger. <laughs> Shot fired. <laughs> Look, buddy, <laughs> this is whole Frazzini thing. Look, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me from the point of view that he wants to take a mid-career break. You, you're wanting to take a mid-career break when something has just started? And what do you plan on coming back to? Because it's very rare for companies, any corporate company, to take somebody back or to take somebody that's been on a career break back into the fold, especially at that high position. Regardless of what any of these companies will say to you face-to-face, that's all bull. There is no company that will sit there and go, this guy decided to take a break for whatever reason. Could be for 
you know, somebody could have taken time off for genuine reasons. They want to be with their kid. They want to do this. They want to go parasailing. Yep. I don't know. No company is going to accept that as an excuse when they've got Bob Jones down the road or John Doe or Jane Doe down the road who's been committed, hasn't left, mm-hmm. and is firing on all cylinders. To me, it, I, you know, I hope it's nothing sinister on his part, uh, as in health-wise or, or, you know, mental health or physical health. That's, you know, I hope it's none of those things that are pushing him to actually take that mid-career break, as he calls it, because, again, I, I just... I've been in a higher up position, and that's just not a thing that is acceptable. Um, no, no, he won't be coming back to Amazon. Like, no, it's a break. Yeah, I, I say he probably wouldn't be going back to Amazon. No, this is. This I mean, maybe break. you can take. Wouldn't resign. You're just like, I don't know, go on vacation. Well, surely he's got long service leave by yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Years. So that's what doesn't yeah. make. You know, enough sense to me. Like, if you're taking a mid career break, that's what you've got long service leave for, mate, or champ. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, um, yeah, yeah, I just that's where I find it uh, a little bit sus is it just doesn't make sense for somebody to be in that position to go, especially when, you know, New World had such uh, critical acclaim regardless of the server issues and, and all that sort of stuff. We knew that was going to happen. Like, if you didn't think that was going to happen to a, a company that, you know, this was their first big release, then, you know, maybe you need to take a look in the mirror or a couple of mirrors. But Wait, back Crucible here? No, I was talking about New World when the server oh, issues okay. Well, Crucible had... Uh... That whole game doesn't exist anymore because it had so many goddamn issues. Yeah, I've yeah. never even heard of it. Yeah, well, it was it was on the market for like six months, like yeah, not so- long, and then it just disappeared because it was so shit. And people started working on New World, basically. I just don't. Yeah, I just don't understand. I reckon if he's taking a career break. It'll be like a break in his personal career rather than a break in his Amazon career. Yes, I agree. Yeah. If he yeah. wants another job in the games industry, it'll be at a different company mm. for sure, 100%. Maybe it's like, you know how we all went into lockdown and then people started realising what life is really about and how it's not about waking up and going to work nine to five at your corporate job. It's about enjoying life. With mm-hmm. your family and the people you love, mm-hmm. maybe he came to that realization. And he's oh, like, and I he want did, a break from my career. If he did, good on him. Uh, but yeah. a career break. Yep. He's not coming. He's not going back to anything. Well, 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 I mean, it's just the way that. Why? Well, I guess he probably had a pretty not a high not paying that job. High level. That's what paper, I'm saying. He might get another job at a much lower level after mm. his career break is done. But he's not getting hired for that same position in any other game company. Uh, not right away. Because no game company wants to hire somebody who they don't know how long they're going to be around for until they take another career. Well, around. I mean, 18 years is a pretty long time. It's a long time. Though. No, but it's yeah. more the yeah. fact That's- that the game industry changes significantly in a really short span of time. If you don't have your finger on the pulse, as the leader of a company and the person that sets the direction of a company, you, how, how are you meant to run that company efficiently? That's the big thing. So him stepping away for whatever reason, he's not going back to any of that higher level role. Mm. No, you'd have to work his way up a corporate ladder again, again. for sure. Maybe he's going to start his own. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I hope he wasn't forced out of the position by Amazon because uh, Lost Ark has done really well, uh, the latest game, uh, as far as I know anyway. Um, 
I haven't actually played it, but seen a bunch of our fellow Twitch streamers play it. And it looks fun. They all enjoyed it. Uh, there was a bunch of hype around it. Uh, New World Dan, as he said, had its issues, but I think ultimately it was a success for the company. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I mean he was doing well. Wow. Blamed on the senior executive team. So the failure okay. of Crucible, so a senior developer came out and said the reason it failed was because of some executive decisions made from the high-level leadership team, which would be uh, his this guy. team. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, I mean. Yeah, but that was a while ago. They've had yeah, two other games I've since had then. successes since then. Yeah, so you think he would have stepped down two years ago. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. So that's why the whole thing doesn't make, you know, if it was just after Crucible, then, yeah, cool, you, you just got punted from the position, yeah, mate. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on while the world had its issues with server stuff, like, that was going to happen. Because I guarantee yeah. you the amount of money that they gave him to get that sort of thing to get, get going, it wouldn't have been where it needed to be because they didn't know what the success level was going to be like. So as soon as they realised that it was a problem, they would have then gone, oh, we've got to divert funds. Mm -hmm. right? We're going to take some out of the piggy bank, smack it with a hammer, and chuck a couple of coinage into upgrading the servers here, brothers. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Buddies. I mean, it's a, good, it's a good problem to have, isn't it? Like, yeah. your game's too popular. Yeah, it's too so. popular. So, you know. That's why I'm just saying I'm not necessarily conspiracy theorist. I just don't. Yeah, I think it's something else. You're a bit sus. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's that's fine. I guess. I guess only time will tell. Hopefully, we hear from Michael Frizzini at some stage or, because again, those two games pretty fun. Or oh, oh God, here we go. Here's the tin hat. Who needs a new CEO? And who hasn't? Activision. Yeah, who hasn't been? Uh, who doesn't have okay. seven hundred sexual harassment cases against them? That's yeah. that is true. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. Watch this. Space. Amazon's a big company. Their two games have done well. I mean, they create Diablo. Like uh, Lost Ark is pretty. Diablo -esque. Pretty yeah, it is Maybe a Diablo esque they... game. Uh, Ooh, you might be on to something, actually, Dan. Oh, I thought Korea he was going to say is, that. Uh, just waiting until the just acquisition the finishes and then boom. Uh, yep. No more break. I thought you were going to say Michael was an alien. or he'd been <laughs> a, a lizard man. Yeah, or he'd been abducted by aliens. That's the tinfoil hat. Oh, mm. He's a nice. lizard man who's been abducted by aliens. I mean, he no. might still be a lizard man. We don't well, know. He, he, he could be champ, but, you know, I reckon it's uh, something else. <laughs> Yeah, you reckon he's actually going somewhere? I don't got, know. Got a I, real world. Yeah, you know, I'm a very intelligent person. And I think I made a good, <laughs> good point there. <laughs> don't you think, champ? Ah, uh, I think so, Tiger. <laughs> Are you guys talking to me? No. Oh, yeah. I would never. No, I learned my lesson after the best time I slept on the couch. Good, because you guys can talk about this next topic on your own if that's the case. <laughs> yeah, there is another topic. One more. I'm giving them both uh, dirty looks, by the way. Well, you need a sound effect if you're going to do that. Oh, well, I'm not job. the sound effects man. You're the sound effect yeah, person. It's like laser eye sound. Okay. But, like, the evil version. So, there has been a Twitch streamer <laughs> that has been banned. So, yet Twitch has banned yet another streamer uh, indefinitely this time, which I found uh, interesting. They don't yep. do that lightly. There's not a huge amount of examples of indefinite bans on Twitch. Don't want one of those. No, no. Uh, please don't do that to us, Twitch. Uh, we're not big enough to make a splash in their ocean of people they're looking at banning anyway, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, Dan, would you would you care to uh, t 
tell everybody what the go is here. So Destiny has been indefinitely banned. Uh, now, mm. this is a ban that's uh, similar to Dr. Disrespect, which never really had a uh, never really had a resolution. Like nobody ever really said why. They just seem to this is what I don't understand about Twitch is rather than being, you know, articulate and providing clear cut reasons as to why something happens. All they say is, what was the latest one? Uh, this was something along the lines of due to, he's been banned due to hateful conduct. And it's just all a bit meh. It's, it's a very gray area, isn't it? They don't need to set clear guidelines and examples. You can't say this guy's getting banned for hateful conduct when you got hot tub streamers streaming. Themselves. But that's not, not, that's not hateful. hateful, though. No, no. That, I can like, relax. I'm not saying that's hateful. <laughs> but like, how, how is that appropriate when kids watch that platform? Yeah, you have to be over 13 to be on Twitch. Yeah. That's still kids, though, arguably, isn't it? What? Um, I mean, if, kids should be if a 13-year-old can't look at, uh, it's not like it's like nudity or anything like that, those hot tub streams. They're yeah, just- I think that's the difference is that the hot tub streams aren't hurting anyone, but Destiny made some comments that could really hurt people, a yeah, large is- group of people. People. Which what were enough. the comments? Laura? What were the comments that he made? Well, they were talking about a trans streamer, and he made a joke about them being in the forty-one percent, meaning that, like, the statistics that there that forty-one percent of trans people commit suicide. That's pretty damn hateful, if you ask me. It's not. Well, yeah. I yeah. Pro- yes. Provide. This is the problem, though. Provide it clearly, because they yeah. their, their statements. Same with Doctor Disrespect. Their statements don't provide a clear stance. It's so ambiguous. It's like it gives them room to do what they want. So when they yeah, so when I, they I think- banned Doctor Disrespect, there was a lawsuit filed against them. Yeah, now that's that a just result. Yeah. But it both come both Doctor Disrespect and Twitch just went. Let's wash our hands of this, and then that's it. Nobody admitted fault. No. And Twitch again still did not provide a significant uh, like you've got to provide clarity to people. Stop being ambiguous. I think. I well, think- they do have a pretty specific set of terms and conditions. They do have a bunch of terms and conditions. Yes, um, when they ban somebody, I just want to say that that 41% thing, I, like I get what Dan's saying by the fact that like, like we don't actually know if that's why he was yeah, banned. Yeah, I get Yeah, yeah, yeah I that's, think that's that, my point. Yeah, Dan, I'm not like, saying he shouldn't have been banned. This is what he said. Yeah, this they is why said, he's banned. This yeah. is, yeah, don't, yeah. like you can't do that. Everyone's just like, oh, we think that it's because of these comments, which yeah. makes sense. But Twitch hasn't outrightly said that that is the case. Yeah, they yeah. even said that that so was should be the banned. thing. Yes. But I also see Twitch's, like, side of the story. Like, they reserve the right to refuse entry, you know? Like, they, it's, it's their website. It's, like, they are the ones providing the service. They, as long as they're not being like hateful or um you know like uh what's the word i'm looking for discriminatory yeah as long as they're not discriminating against you they can just take the piss off and you, you you're yeah, not welcome I, here I, I like disagree. that's 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 fair no, it's the same in like any any venue in yeah, the world like are they were money at that venue huh are you making that are you making money in a venue that that can refuse your right to enter? No. Twitch 
Twitch pays you as a streamer money to be on their platform, okay, and to provide content. What so other when, people do that? What? Twitch doesn't pay. Other people pay. Yeah, okay, but they, they facilitate the service. Yes. They so, take too much, if you ask me. Yes, they <laughs> I do. I agree. But yeah. Twitch, I'm not, so. Twitch facilitating that service needs to provide security to the streamers on the, on the platform. So that security so, yeah, is I provided think, with clarity. Yeah, but, I mean, like, don't be a dick. It is pretty clear in the term in the terms of service. You're not allowed to say anything that could be considered hateful what or I'm discriminatory is, against I don't need any to adjust demographic. The terms and conditions. Yeah. They're not. I don't think they need to adjust it. But when somebody gets banned, especially somebody big, don't just say it was for hateful content. If you don't, if you don't want to put out the reason in black and white. Then there's a problem. Why? Why are See, you hiding? Why are you hiding behind hateful content? Why are they hiding so behind those words? I, I, I kind of, I don't agree. I think that Twitch definitely has the right to be like, you, you, you bit, you been a dick. Like, end of story. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't care. It doesn't. Like, I feel like the ambiguousness. Maybe that's like more coming from a professional place because they don't want to be like, this streamer said this. They just want to be like, these are our rules. You broke them. Yeah. End of story. The reason you're banned is because you broke our rules. End of story. And I feel like the ambiguousness kind of, it makes the streamers themselves, maybe, maybe it makes them a little bit more nervous and a little bit more, oh, is there anything that I say that can be strewed as hateful? Because if there is, then I mean, I'm sorry, but like you can't, you kind of deserve to be banned. You can't, you can't discriminate against anyone because that that's shit. I'm not and saying though, if there is anything that can be construed, you need to take a long, hard look at yourself. And yeah. by being ambiguous, Twitch makes everyone nervous, and 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 that's fine. If you're nervous about something that you've said could be construed as hateful, then. Again, maybe you need to take a take a look at yourself and, and change how you present your strengths. So if you feel nervous walking into your job because you've got no idea whether or not you'll get fired for saying something, does that not make you uncomfortable? Well, we never feel nervous about what we're saying because we know that we're not being hateful. Yeah. Well, no. Tom said if you're if, being hateful, Tom said it's not a big enough streamer hateful, for them nervous. to care. That's why he doesn't care. That's different. No, no, no. I don't care because I'm not being hateful. Yeah, but it's I'm like when that- I walk when you walk past a cop, if the cop makes you feel nervous, you're probably doing something illegal. But if you just walk past a cop and it's just like, oh hey, there's a cop. Yeah. As soon that's as you see my a cop example on the road, I agree with that. Everybody drops their speed by 10 kilometers an hour. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> when they shouldn't. They've That's got what flashing happens. lights on they have a party. I don't. I don't drop my speed. I'm not nervous. If you're speeding, you drop your speed. Yeah, exactly. Everybody drops speed. their speed. I guarantee you. Sit there and watch. Next time you drive past I'm, the cop I'm car. I'm on cruise control. Cruise control all day. Yes, I live on cruise control. So all I'm yeah. saying is, right, they have the right. The limit. I'm wrong. Twitch have the right to ban anybody from their platform that does not meet their terms and conditions. I have no issue with that. But I'm saying being ambiguous leaves it open for people to feel uncomfortable streaming on your platform. Why is that okay? Well, if you're uncomfortable, then as Laura said, then you're probably doing something wrong. If you're not doing anything wrong, then you you, you shouldn't be uncomfortable. Don't worry about it. It's not going to affect you. If you're being hateful, you're uncomfortable, then... You if you feel uncomfortable. uncomfortable about it, it means that deep down you feel like you have reason to be uncomfortable, which means that deep down you know you doing something wrong. Yeah, that there's something so this, awry. So this streamer, right, 
was banned for hateful content. They now move over to YouTube gaming, Facebook gaming, and a lot mm-hmm. of their followership follow them there because they don't really know why. They just know they'll ban for hateful content. And because Twitch don't provide clarity and it's ambiguous, he can twist the narrative out however he bloody well wants. And Twitch yep. won't okay. respond. Yeah. No. So now that- those followers are still supporting somebody that provides hateful content rather than Twitch going, this guy was basically happy or said that somebody is within a 41 percentile of people that commit suicide because they are transgender. If Twitch said that, he would lose a significant amount of followers. These people will follow him. And because it's in, uh, it's ambiguous and there is no clarity there whatsoever, it does not force people to take a good hard look at themselves because people mentally want to be the victim. So right now, he is going to be the victim, he's going to play the victim, and Twitch have done nothing about it when they should have provided clarity in order to penalise him because he'll move. Dr. Disrespect move. We still don't know why. And the lawsuit amounted to nothing. So if okay. somebody uh, has... Now your point has changed. I agree with this one. I agree with this point. How is my point that changed? Is- no, I think he was... He did say that before, that it was just clarity that... That I've he just wanted. said clarity no. the whole time. My point yeah, hasn't yeah, changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just gave uh, you another now example. Not, now it's not for Twitch. It's for the followers. So I both. agree with that. It's for both, I think, though. That's the problem. I think uh, providing for fellow ambu- streamers, it, it's not an issue. But for his followers and to get the message out there that he did do this thing specifically wrong this is why you shouldn't follow him and this is why we don't anymore. That makes sense. But as far as other streamers are concerned, I don't think there's an issue. Why? Because, like, what I've been saying the whole time, if if you're worried, then you deserve to be worried because you're doing something wrong. Well, that's not always so, the case. Maybe the person so, has a, a mental condition. And because there's not enough clarity provided, that mental condition, right, whether that be bipolar or anxiety, any other number of things, can cause somebody to go into a spin. Why is that fair? So I think you're talking about very specific examples here. Like I if, am. if that's going to cause you to go into a spin, then I mean, you know, friggin' Joe Blow on, on your chat telling you that you suck is also going to cause you to go into a spin. Like, I don't want to you've get got, involved in this very you've got, specific you've got mental health that, examples. Though. And there's, there's tags, there's tags that you can use on Twitch for all of those, all of those uh, uh, disabilities, I guess, for lack yeah, which, of a better term. Which show your followers. Yeah. It doesn't do anything yeah. for Twitch. Uh, I just, I just don't, I don't see it being an issue for other streamers. Uh, as far as his followers are concerned, yeah, you're, you're right. I guess he can twist the narrative however he wants. That that sucks a bit. And I think also for him, it could be beneficial for him to have a clearer reason from Twitch because I think if you are the type of person that is going to joke about people committing suicide maybe you're not capable of taking a look at yourself and thinking this thing that i do is wrong sometimes people are maybe not this guy specifically i don't know him personally but sometimes people are so bad that they can't see that what they're doing is bad Mm. yeah well i think that constitutes a bad person murderers in in jail you know and they and they've been in jail their whole life and they still don't regret their crimes and they don't see them as issues like so maybe if they get that's a very extreme example but maybe if he did get an explanation from twitch Mm. then he would be like okay that's what i said and that's what i did wrong no i agree with that bad people don't want to be better Mm. 
And bad people sometimes don't even, they think they're normal people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that, that would be a totally normal thing to say. So in that sense as well, it would be beneficial to have a more clear reason. Yeah, I'm not like, I don't, I don't really mind either way, you know, like I'm not fighting for in, like I'm not fighting for Twitch and saying like, good job for not giving a reason. And I'm also not fighting for Dan's opinion either and saying good job or bad job. You need to give one. Like it doesn't, doesn't affect me personally. And like, I hope that all his followers will do the same amount of research that we've done, or at least like listen to this podcast and find out what he's done. Uh, they won't. I don't have enough faith in humanity for, for that to happen, but it's just, I don't know. It is what it is. It's like Twitch is, Twitch is going to continue to do things this way. And if they're banning people for hateful comments, like ultimately that's a good thing. Like I think it's better they they ban them than than not. So I'm I'm going to give them their ten percent and say like good job for getting rid of him. Whatever the reason, that's that's fair. The problem is, is that is whatever that whatever the reason. Fair enough. <laughs> that's fair? My, I disagree. You think yes, it's better for him. him to have been left on the service and just be like making no you should have been banned 100 percent. yeah should have been banned but I, I just think clarity needs to pro- to be provided and i'm not saying for that particular streamer but the thing is you could sit there and literally go through anybody's stream and find stuff that could be considered inappropriate anybody's stream Where's, where's See, inappropriate the- is different to hateful, though, you know? But that's part of their terms and conditions. Being that's inappropriate. Of- it is. If, if, you're, if your content, as an example, is aimed at uh, people 18 and above, then that's you, you've got a different appropriate level. But if you don't have that tag... As an example, you don't have that as moderation on your stream and you say something inappropriate because you're an adult, you don't deem it inappropriate necessarily. You don't think about it in that second. I just feel yeah. like I, I just feel like clarity needs to be provided to make people comfortable in streaming on their platform. Otherwise, why wouldn't you go stream with Facebook gaming or YouTube gaming? Yeah, they do ban people unless it's no one's there. They tend to pick up all the streamers that lose that go from Twitch. And the problem is both those mediums are gaining traction. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they'll ever be, especially the Facebook one. I don't think – does anyone ever use Facebook anymore? Maybe Facebook that's gaming. why they're doing this. They want more people to come to Facebook again. I don't use Facebook anymore. Nah, I don't. I don't know anyone that does. No, but my you dad. Use YouTube. Like, yes, we use YouTube. Yes, but do we yeah. watch live streams there? No. No, like, I have one. But a lot of people do. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's there, but it's it's definitely no Twitch. I prefer the well, Twitch platform. Far newer than Twitch as well. That's true. Yeah, I, yeah as, as a live streaming service, it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just, YouTube's struggling to get around like what they like to find its identity there. You know, like Twitch is a very dedicated live streaming service, whereas YouTube is not. Yeah. 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 I Agreed. Clarity is needed. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fine. I vote that clarity is clarity is good, but it's not necessarily needed. I agree. I agree with Laura. But it is good and it is beneficial in a lot of ways. Yes. But I think it's better. It's better. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. We can all we can all do better, can't we? Mm-hmm. Mm. Even destiny. 
Yes, absolutely. And I hope he does. I hope he regrets and atones and, you know, everyone deserves a chance to atone, in my opinion. And maybe he's going to have a great time streaming on Facebook. Yeah, I like, I don't know. I don't know. Should he? Should he what? Have a good time streaming on Facebook. I think think if you have a large platform of viewers, I think that you should be really careful about the um, things that you say and the the, uh, emotions and the points of view that you want to promote. And I think if you are willing to abuse that platform and spread uh, points of view that are really, really hurtful and possibly devastating for others, then you don't deserve it. Well, I do think people deserve a chance to atone, though. Yeah, so, everyone deserves a second chance. Yeah, that's why everyone I don't... deserves a second chance. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like mandatory minimum sentencing sucks for that for that exact reason. Um, and that, that's a whole different kettle of fish. But I think so, I do think that like that is like I don't think that he deserves a second chance on Twitch. No. There are other pl- yeah. platforms that he can go to. Yeah. I think he deserves another chance as a streamer and maybe his career doesn't have to be over, but I think that he did he does deserve to be punished. Exactly. Yep, I agree with that. I think he deserves to be punished and if he if he goes over and does the same thing on Facebook or YouTube, then, I mean, we can only hope that they ban him as well, you know? that's And if he does do the same thing, then he just does deserve to be banned again. And his career does deserve to end if well, he just, just keeps like on doing it, Well, it's just like things that you, know? you say can be really harmful. And somebody Hell watching yeah. that stream when he said that could have been trans. Yeah. And he could have been their favourite streamer. Yeah. And then he said this thing and maybe that would push somebody over the edge, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. and Sometimes you just need to think about saying things like that. Yeah. So there's workplace. You don't know who's watching your stream. No, there's workplace bullying laws in place in Australia. So this country that we're in, and it's kind of it's it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? That streamers at work, they're not allowed to bully anyone, right? I don't think you can call it work. Well, yeah, based yeah. On your I mean, commentary earlier. Pardon? You can't call it work based on your commentary from earlier. Because if you get what? fired from work, they need to provide clarity. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw well, that Wow. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, he walked right into that one. Yeah, I, I to, did. I, did. I, had I to think go. he's at work. I think he's at work. Well, then he I'm needs not, clarity as to why he was not. terminated. I think it's... Well, I mean, he's not employed by Twitch. He's employed by himself. He works for himself through, so do through Uber this platform. Yeah. Okay. So if you're fired Go from on. Uber, you should have clarity provided, which technically they need to. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know shit I do about under- Uber drivers. Look, I do understand Dan's point of view for sure. I understand it. I understand it. I'm just trying to like disagree with him for the sake of having an interesting conversation, I know, yeah. which I do a lot. Yeah, I just, I yeah, just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I disagree that they like clarity is better. I agree. I think, I think it would be That's beneficial for a lot of people. Yeah. 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 Clarity is better. better. Not necessary. What? Twitch, at the end of the day, is just trying to protect the people that use their platform. Yep. Good. That's what I reckon. Good for banning. Banning, good. Clarity I agree with better. banning is good. But banning, but banning yeah. good. Banning is good. Yes, 100%. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> Dan, where can people find you? iDigitalGames.com. Or iDigital.games. Oh, I got that one too. Okay. Nice. I know, Just I in case. I was very excited. <laughs> I, I did not know dot .games was a, a thing. Yeah, yeah iDigital.games. I'm going to check it out. Oh, shit. Okay, interesting. There you go. And go what about iDigital.games. 
Where That's can we cool. find you? You can find us at Some Kind of Gaming on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. All the shabams. All the shabams. We don't do hateful speech. On Twitch. Not well, not banned. all of the shabam. We're not on, like, Pornhub or anything. But. Oh, my God. <laughs> this this, uh, this episode's gone too far for too long. I need to pee. We need to end it. See what you next week. Reggie? Much love, you beautiful people. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye. Bye.